to your mid-month general reading. I decided to bring back the general readings this month. Um, even though I wasn't able to get out a bi-weekly reading, um, I still wanted to give my patrons, uh, well, what they pay for um, every month. So if you're interested in getting a general mid-month reading from me, you can find them over on Patreon. I'll be going through the signs starting with Cancer. I don't know what order I'm going in, I guess. Uh, probably in astrological order um, since it's been a while uh, since I've done the mid-month general readings um, but uh, mainly this is for your Sun moon or ascendant uh, watch your Sun moon or ascendant and um, I guess possibly your Venus sign although I typically would watch your Venus sign for the bi-weekly love readings so let's see what's going on for the sign of Cancer. Now this reading will cover your past, present, and future. The present being the moment that you view this reading. And uh, it is for the mid-month of July, for middle of July. So those, that's when these will be coming out. I'm recording them before then, but they'll be coming out around the mid-month. So, Spirit, what is the... What are the messages and energies that you have for the sign of Cancer? Cancer suns, moons, risings, and Cancers on the house cusp. This is their mid-month general reading. Please show me their past, present, and future. For all Cancers that may be watching, Cancer suns, moons, risings, Cancers on the house cusp. What do they need to know regarding their past, present, and future? Suns, moons, rising, cancers on the house cusp for their past, present, and future. What do they need? To do? Past, present, and future. Cancer. Suns, moons, rising, cancers on the house cusp. We're going to start with your recent past. We have the Ace of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles clarified with the Knight of Swords and the Page of Wands and Judgment, the Star in Reverse, Page of Swords in the present situation with the Five of Swords, the Six of Cups in reverse, the High Priestess in reverse, the Four of Swords in reverse. Going into the future, we have the Nine of Swords. The Seven of Wands, the Tower, and the Six of Wands. In the outcome position, we have the Eight of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress in reverse. Empress uh, can be a Taurus, Libra. She also represents the Mother. It can also indicate someone who is undergoing um, health or fertility issues. Uh, pregnancy issues. Um, it can be someone who is not feeling well. It could be also the jealous woman. I could be a, represent a jealous woman. Uh, I do see some kind of a broken agreement here, or someone here could be dealing with the sign of Capricorn. Okay, so let me go ahead and see how the cards are looking. Okay, very good. Yes. All right, let's go ahead. Um, I am timing these readings just because uh, my camera will shut off after 23 minutes. 
So, um, first thing I notice is you have like a balance of minor arcana here. There's really only one. Let's see. You've got the high priestess, the star, one, two, three, and then a clarifier. So, four major arcana in your reading. Uh, it's like one per week, really. Then I also notice that you have cups, pentacles, swords, and wands. So, dealing with the mundane. Okay, so in the past we have the Ace of Cups. This can be your energy, water energy. And I do see a new beginning in love for some of you. This can also be an offer of love coming in. Um, the Ace of Cups also talks about renewing oneself emotionally, a gift of love, feeling loved. It's one of the most positive cards in the, in the entire tarot. And as an Ace, we elevate it above all the cards and it blesses the entire reading. So love is a major theme here, uh, I feel like. Uh, there could have been an, uh, an offer in your past of love. An offer of forgiveness, reconciliation. I also see this as an opening in the heart chakra where emotions can flow freely. Um, it can be someone obviously going through an emotional time and just able to let a lot out emotionally or feeling loved, feeling just unconditional love for someone or something. So very positive. It's especially positive because it's next to the Six of Pentacles. So... Uh, here we have the rich man giving to the beggar. Um, and actually what's interesting in this card is that there are three people um, in this card. Uh, so it always makes me think of the haves and the have-nots. But the good thing is that the people that do have money are willing to give to the poor. So it is a beneficial transaction here. Though it can be someone who's feeling very giving someone who is able to do things out of the goodness of their heart. They're very charitable. And even if, if this is you, it can indicate you receiving, uh, you giving, um, or being in a place where you're able to receive or to give. Um, now, it's tied to the King of Pentacles here, so some of you are involved uh, with a, an earth sign, like I said, Capricorn, it could be a Virgo. The King of uh, Pentacles, to me is a very much like a Capricorn or could be a Taurus or Virgo male energy. And this is someone who looks to be quite wealthy, quite stable. Um, they probably are, uh, what do I want to say it? Um, <laughs> stick in the mud. They can be a stick in the mud. They can be very stubborn, but they, they have usually a pretty good position. They have a pretty stable financial future. Um, and I, the reason why I did clarify this card is it, it was coming up with uh, two different court cards. So it seems like this person is moving towards making a, a final decision. And um, I've seen this person as being very decisive, a very decisive character, like they know what they want. Um, this can even be news coming, news that was coming to you from an earth sign. Um, now, unfortunately, we do have a star here in reverse, sign of Aquarius. So someone here is feeling very pessimistic or this um, decision, uh, this earth sign could be making a decision that somehow may be affecting like uh, chances for reconciliation, for example. It could be that someone here is feeling less than optimistic about a situation moving forward. Um, if this is you, you may be being skeptical, pessimistic, or uh, kind of like there's a feeling like the glass is half empty as opposed to half full. The star is still a very positive card. Just when the reverse position, it can indicate that there is some pessimism here or maybe a lack of hope that things are moving in a positive direction. It seems like they are moving in a positive direction, so that could just be, um, you know, maybe some of you dealing with an Aquarius. Uh, or someone who tends to have a more jaded perspective on things. But um, either way, um, I do see quite a lot of communic I do see some people communicating around you. 
Um, now going into your present situation, we have the Page of Swords. Yes. And um, I, I, I really feel like some of you are, um, some of you are quite literally being watched or stalked by an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, and are looking back on this person from the past and have less than positive memories. You may be feeling slightly jaded, slightly bitter, um, which kind of ties in with the star here. So some of you could have Aquarius in your chart. But I do feel like if you're dealing with an air sign, you have a reason to feel the way that you do because I feel like this air sign, the way that they communicate um, is through their ego. They can, they have a very big ego and they don't hesitate to kind of um, cut you down with their words. Um, this can be someone who is watching the situation very carefully. They may not necessarily communicate with you. But if they do, you have to watch out because they're, they just want to win. They don't really care. Um, it's like, I'm right and you're wrong or whatever. But this is not a true victory. This is just a ego fight. This is just them fighting from their ego. So the other message I have for you, Cancer, is just you do need to pay attention to your intuition. I feel like your intuition is screaming at you. It's telling you to wake up. It's telling you to pay attention. Um, with the High Priestess here in reverse, you may be going against your higher self. You may not, not be listening to your higher self. There can be difficulty tuning into your higher self um, because the High Priestess here can also talk about someone is, who is having difficulty tuning into what their intuition is trying to tell them and therefore their higher self is not responding to them. Um, now, other than that, it can represent the sign of Pisces and Virgo, and it can also indicate that a secret is coming out this week. So you are likely to um, possibly hear about something that's being revealed. Um, on the 13th, we are having a full moon lunar eclipse, so this could be on or around that lunar event. Um, sorry, not a full moon, it's a new moon lunar eclipse. Um, in the sign of cancer, so that, that would be in your sign. So yes, there could be some information that's coming out, some things that are being revealed to you. Where I feel like it's going, I see someone here who just really needs to withdraw from a situation. This could be the air sign if you're dealing with an air sign. Um, it seems like they're taking a vacation from you or needing to extend um, their like break with you. This can also be someone who has been separated or recently gone through heartbreak or divorce. And it seems like, um, while yes, they may be playing dead in the relationship, um, the chances are that they've been either on bed rest or taking this break for a very long time. Because uh, the four source reverse can indicate issues just getting flooded and compounded in a relationship. So the separation continues, the, the, uh, you know, the boredom or the, 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 the rest period continues. There can be very little um, communication, conversation when this is happening. Um, it can also quite literally talk about someone who is taking an extended vacation. Next thing I see going into your future, you have the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Tower. So interesting, the Tower comes up underneath this uh, Major Arcana again. Um, something here is building up. Uh, tension is building. I'm seeing it going into the following week. If you're dealing with an air sign once again, or you have fire sign, there can be kind of battles brewing, up tension brewing. I feel like the air sign has become very paranoid, very worried, very stressed out. They may not be sleeping. They may be worried about you. Um, if you have fire sign in your chart, I'm, I'm thinking maybe you have fire or air. The fire sign energy, I'm seeing someone who's very defensive, very on guard. They feel like they have to like block you or stand or if this is you you have to block them you've got to 
you know, get to higher ground, stand up for yourself. You could be, feel like you're really put on the defensive here. Um, the next thing I see is the tower. So the tower really represents Mars energy. And I don't know what Mars will be in in two weeks, but uh, wherever Mars is, it's going to be affected um, pretty strongly. And the tower represents Mars here. And the force of the ego, the ego breaking down, uh, this can be a separation, this can be a shock, this can really be anything, but um, here we have uh, what looks to be like a tower situation and then the six of wands. So someone comes out of this really feeling quite good, uh, feeling like they're getting the validation and the victory that they wanted. It can also be a huge ego boost for them. Um, as I feel like in this reading, the uh, I'm sensing just a, a bitterness and a rivalry going on, and I feel like if you have any fire sign in your chart, you're likely going to be in a good position here. Because as the tower comes down, I'm seeing the blue and the red as being like two different people here. The, the blue energy here seems to be the one that's... Um, It could even be that, you know, this is like your comeback. This is the way that you, you respond to a situation. And, and that is that finally, you know, it's a dismantling of everything that ever was. It's, you know, the tower coming down can, can really be like, look, this relationship, this friendship, this marriage, this whatever, fill in the blank, was never really built on solid ground. And so eventually it is going to come crashing down. So when it does... It looks like someone here does benefit from that and is feeling, you know, like they're riding up, they're riding on their high horse or they perceive themselves to be, you know, this is a huge victory. And then your outcome is the Eight of Pentacles. So uh, this, this, uh, I'm seeing profit. Uh, I'm seeing work being very good, very easy. Um, someone here. I'm seeing craftsmanship, so someone really paying attention to the details here and really getting to work. So um, I feel like the tower is a positive thing. Um, if there was a secret that came out in the week before, um, it can create some tension, but then I feel like the tension is let out of the room and you're able to, to kind of pick yourself up and move on. So Cancer, that is what I am uh, seeing for you uh, for your mid-month. And again, this is going to resonate differently for, di for different people. But I am looking at your past, present, and future. Um, and now, again, at the bottom of the deck, we had the Empress in reverse. So the sign of Taurus, the sign of Libra, this can also indicate a woman who can be a jealous woman, a jaded woman, someone that is uh, going through some fertility issues or that may not be feeling all that well. And we have the double and reverse, which talks about broken agreements or someone possibly getting out of a physical relationship. So breaking off a physical relationship or even possibly it can indicate getting out of something that's been very toxic. Um, so let me know if this resonates with you uh, below, down below in the comments. Um, I'll be interested to hear your feedback. And once again, thanks so much for your support and love and support over here on Patreon. Hope you guys all have a wonderful month of July and happy birthday to all of you July born cancers. Take care.